Hello friends, Srinivas here. Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to see another uh, session in here and I am going to show you how we can do the reconciliation uh, from GL to AR. Okay. So AR to GL reconciliation we will see in Fusion. Uh, so let us start. So what is AR to GL reconciliation? So AR to GL reconciliation is like uh, we want to reconcile or compare all the air transactions, air receipt, air payments, uh, whether they are moved to jail or not. So the end result should be there should not be any dif differences between the air uh, closing balance and uh, GL closing balance from air side. Okay. So it's very straightforward in uh, Oracle Fusion. So Oracle uh, Fusion has provided shaded reports and we can use these reports to find out the differences between air and uh, GL balances and reconcile the both the module very easily. So first there are two step process. So let us go to the first step is let's go to the tool. Schedule process. So here, here is a program name Prepare Receivable to General Ledger Reconciliation. Okay. So this is the first program we have to run to prepare the data for reconciliation. Okay. Select this program and uh, submit a request name. So give one request name. Here we can and uh, ledger. Ledger is US primary ledger. So, for which ledger you are going to perform the reconciliation? Business unit. For US one business unit, you want to do the reconciliation. Accounting period the current accounting period I have to select or uh, the latest open period for which I want to do the reconciliation. So I want to do the reconciliation for July 22. Do you want to enter the intercompany transactions? So that's you can select only intercompany or uh, all the transactions including intercompany or you can skip it. So it will keep all the transactions, all the available transactions it will select for reconciliation. Include on account items. Okay, so I want to include all the items unapplied and unidentified receipts that also you want to exclude or include no I include everything and in accounts any specific account for which you want to reconciliation no I want to include everything whatever transactions are available in here and uh, I want to reconcile I want to check the balance with GL. Okay. So once you submit this program, it will prepare the data. Okay. It will prepare the data for reconciliation with GL. Just wait for the program to complete. Okay. So this program is now completed, right? So once this program is completed, then you can start the, you can run the reconciliation uh, process. So this program don't have any output file, so. Once it is completing successfully means the data is prepared successfully. 
Okay. So now you can go to here again, here dashboard. Go to account receivable. And uh, from the task panel, select receivable to ledger reconciliation accounting. Okay, so that program you need to submit. So it will give you a clear picture about what has been transferred to GL, what has not been transferred, why there is a difference between AR GL balance. So all the detail it will demonstrates in this uh, dashboard and uh, you will get opportunity to navigate to the transactions particular transactions from the difference amount uh, and, uh, you can see here this is the report layout receivable to ledger reconciliations so in one form one column you can see the receivable amount and uh, in one column you will see the GL amount that is accounting amount accounting means it's accounted and posted to GLs okay so here usually in month of July there is no transactions created neither creator or transfer to GL so in all cases it is 000 so whenever you have transactions suppose 1000 uh, invoice you have created and that is transferred to GL so we'll see here in both the column 1000 and the difference will be zero okay so now it is showing only the end balance closing balance begin balance and end balance so there is no period activity so period activity you can reconcile from these uh, invoices adjustment bill receivable applied receipt so clearly it will indicate what are the transactions created in here and what are the amount accounted and transferred to GL. So let us create one transaction in uh, here and see the effect in the report. As there is no period activity, we will create one transaction and uh, observe what is happening in the report. Right? So go to billing. Just create one transaction. Create transaction. Or US business unit, US one. ABC Corporation America, I am selecting here the customer. Test. Quantity one, one thousand. So this transaction I'm creating for uh, July. Sorry, it's, it's actually I created for August, so I have to create for July. Okay, so let me change the date to July. July 15th, suppose. 
save it payment term i am taking as immediate Complete this transaction, complete and review. Okay, so this transaction is now complete, but it is not accounted. That means it's not posted to GL. So let us see how it is uh, appearing in the report or not. Right? Account receivable. Receivable to general ledger. This is the accounting reconciliation report. Okay. So let us see. You can see I have created the transaction, but still it is not appearing here. So what is the reason? Because I have not run the prepare receivable to ledger report. So that is the first report which extracts the data and prepare the data for reconciliation. Already I have told you. So my purpose is to show you why it is not showing here. So what is the importance of the first report? Okay. So go to again to that uh, prepare reconciliation report and run that prepare data okay july 22 us primary ledger business unit accounting period for july right and submit so this program will whatever the invoice I have created now so this report should be available in the reconciliation so you can see here after uh, running that program again reconciliation program I can see the invoice number here right the invoice amount which I have created. Okay. So this is the invoice transaction total. So I am able to see here, but I am not able to, but I am not able to see here in the accounting amount, right? Because it is not posted to GL still. So once you uh, create accounting and post to GL, we will able to see in second column also. So that's why you are getting the difference here 1087 so now you understand the concept right so in this way you can uh, find out what is the differences so now i will go to the transaction and post the transaction to jail so that uh, there will be no differences